Hello everybody, Charles King here. I'm out here and I have Ashley behind me and we're gonna go over a few simple ways to light your outdoor portraits. I'm gonna go over natural light, I'm gonna go over on-camera strobe light, and I'm gonna go over off-camera light with both speed lights and strobes. So right now we're out here at the golden hour. It's a beautiful autumn day here in Virginia. This is the time of the day you would ideally wanna take your outdoor portraits because you have directional light coming from the sun which is behind us. That sunlight also produces a very golden, beautiful light that makes a rim light around our subjects. So to do this, we are going to go over a few ways to how I would light my outdoor portraits. So right now we have a beautiful sunset behind us and I'm gonna use natural light to take my next shot. To do this correctly, I'm gonna use a reflector to fill in those shadows that's currently on Ashley's face. I'm not even looking, and I know right now her eyes and her face are falling into shadow if I expose properly for that sunset. To do this, I'm using a reflector made by Flashpoint, and it's great. They don't cost much, and you can, I have a number of these just because they're so cheap. And also when you go on scene, you do this, you just feel like a photographer. All right, so before I bring this reflector in and fill in those shadows, I'm gonna take a shot first to show you what it looks like without a reflector. I right, look right here, give me a smile. All right, so as you can see, the background is bright, she is in shadow, it's just not the type of image I would want to deliver to my client. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this reflector and I'm gonna use it to fill in the shadows on Ashley's face. Okay, so I just set the reflector on Ashley. I'm using a reflector stand since I'm out here without an assistant. So it will hold the reflector where it fills in those shadows on her face. So let's take our next shot. So now as you can see, her face is now filled in. Those shadows, it looks great. And also I can see the background much cleaner. Okay, when you use a reflector, you need to make sure you're reflecting the light just right. As you can see, the image looks great behind her, the background looks great, but her face has fallen into shadow. She has shadows under her eyes and under her chin, and I'm telling you, a bride will not want to see an image like this. But when you bring in a reflector, notice how those shadows get filled in under her chin, under her eyes. Let's take that reflector away. Back in. Now right now we're using the white side of the reflector and we're right underneath our subject. Okay, so those were the images using just natural light and a reflector. A lot of times I might use this method as a go-to just if I'm in a hurry. A lot of times during a wedding or some portrait sessions, you just don't have time to mess with flashes or strobes or anything like that. I just take a reflector and have an assistant or a guest or somebody else hold it really fast so I can get the shots I need and move on to the next thing. Okay, so another way of taking an outdoor portrait and lighting it is to use an on-camera speed light. Right now I'm using the Canon 600EX with a Canon 5D Mark III. So this is using full frontal flash. Now to do this, a lot of times it comes off as too strong and also if you're not doing it right, it also comes off as too flat. In either case, it's not really my preferred method. However, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. All right, look right here. Okay, so that's the shot. What you're looking on the screen right now, Ashley is exposed correctly, as is the background. What I personally like to do when I'm using any type of lighting is I like to take my ambient light or the background, and I like to underexpose that by about two thirds to a whole stop under. That will make the subject come out from the background and give the entire image more depth. So I'm gonna underexpose the background by two thirds. I'm gonna take the same shot, look right here. And now, as you can see, the background is a little bit darker. Ashley is exposed properly. Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you how to take an outdoor portrait with on-camera flash. Here's the next step. We're gonna take that same flash, we're gonna take it off the camera, and we'll use the Canon STE3 to control the 600 using a radio signal. I love Canon's speed light system using the radio frequencies. So we're gonna do the same thing. I've underexposed the background by about two thirds stop, and then this flash is gonna hit Ashley from the side. Doing it like this is gonna give your image more depth. It's gonna give it more dimension. It's just gonna make the image pop out even more and also make you stand out more so than your competition. All right, look right here. Three, two, and one. And there's your image. As you can see, she has more depth on her face. Now there is one thing, I will take this up one level, and since we don't have an assistant, we're gonna do this really fast. I'm gonna have Ashley hold a reflector to her opposite side of the flash. Right now, the flash is on, if I'm turned this way, camera right, but right now, my left side, Ashley's gonna hold a reflector to the opposite side to fill in those shadows just a little bit, because they're a little bit too harsh for my liking. 
All right, she has the reflector. We'll go take our shot. Much better. As you can see, those shadows are filled in just a little bit more. Is she still holding the reflector looking kind of silly? Yes, she is. Okay, well, I was saying the other video about having that harsh shadow under her chin against the other speed light. The way to combat that is to use a modifier. Right now, we're using a shoot-through umbrella, which is by far the fastest and probably the cheapest modifier you can buy for your flash. Because as you can see, you set it up, you slide an umbrella on, that's it. So we're gonna take our shot. Go ahead and put your hair down. And right there's your shot. It looks great. Right now the sky is golden. Ashley looks great. Actually, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna knock it down one stop. Love it. I love the shot. It just looks so beautiful with that umbrella. Again, this is using a speed light with an umbrella to shoot an outdoor portrait. Okay, so we switched it up a little bit more. We're using a soft box with a Canon 600 EX speed light to shoot Ashley's next portrait session. Let's check this out. I like it a lot. One of the great things about using a flash or anything like that is you get that specular highlight in the eyes, which is very important. Your clients may or may not notice it, but another photographer will. You have to have that specular highlight because it gives your image life. If somebody is judging or you're in a competition, they would say the image is dead if you don't have that specular highlight. Using the flashes like I've done in my previous videos here, you can see they all have that specular highlight and it just makes the image pop and look more alive. Before you take one of these shots with one of the strobes, you have to use a light meter, like I say, Conics right here, to actually meter your subject to take the shot. Okay guys, for the last lighting step I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do one of the more difficult things to do, and that's to use an off-camera strobe, not a speed light, an actual strobe. Inside this umbrella, I have a Einstein E640 strobe attached to an outside battery pack. This is a lot more difficult because you have to have a battery pack. It's much bigger, there's a lot more pieces that go to it, and you also have to do a lot of metering using a light meter, which I don't have on me right now, to meter the subject. This takes more time, so like, again, at a wedding, time is of the essence. So if you don't have time, stick to one of the simpler things. Don't stress your client out while you try to figure out how to do this to take one image. You do not need to do this for a shot, but it does definitely make a beautiful shot. Let's do it. Look right here. Three, two, one. And I love it. I love it, I love it. 